You know, I often stay out of the conversation when it comes to PvP because no one really looks at me for PvP guidance outside of a yearly rant video about what still happens to be broken in the Crucible. And I'll tell you, I've already started writing the 2021 version, but might need to go on the back burner for a little bit because we just got slapped upside the head with more stasis nerfs and you do love to see that. It's TWAB time! Oh my goodness! Bungie has recognized that Stasis has either been complained about so much or has gotten so bad that they are moving their Season 15 Stasis Balancing Patch up to next Thursday, June 3rd. Before we get into direct nerfs, Bungie has stated that since Forsaken, Things are getting a little too ability focused in the Crucible with gunplay falling behind. Their main goals are to have weapons be the primary way to engage with combat. Abilities should augment combat but not solve things by themselves. Abilities should have clear strengths, weaknesses, and counterplay. And that build crafting is a rewarding thing in moment to moment combat. Bungie is aiming to shift this balance back towards the weapon sides of things over the next coming months, and they plan on taking a look at ability regeneration rates and redesigning how the ability energy economy works across the game. They want to keep things mainly the same in PvE, but reduce how often abilities are used in PvP. Then they're going to take a look at the light subclasses. Bloody, bloody, blood dado. Get to the nerfs. Fine. Stasis freeze. Duration of all non-super freezes against players is now 1.35 seconds. This adjusts any remaining abilities that froze for longer than this. And since the time is so short that you're frozen, you won't be able to break out of this freeze because the animation is basically the same duration. Special weapon, heavy weapon, and light abilities against frozen targets had their bonus damage reduced to 5%. It used to be 50%. Slow will no longer reduce weapon accuracy, but now increases flinch. It no longer suppresses class abilities or air moves, although Ionic Blink is still currently affected by that. That's a bug that will be fixed. The movement speed penalty has been reduced by about 20%. Whisper of Hedrons no longer increases weapon damage after freezing. Instead, it boosts... Almost everything else, stability, aim assist, mobility, resilience, and recovery after freezing. Whisper of Rhyme no longer gives an overshield while in your super. Cold Snap Grenades. The Seeker no longer tracks targets after initial target acquisition. Increased the arming duration before Seeker spawns from 0.3 to 0.8 seconds. Detonation radius reduced by half, and now it bounces off of walls and will detonate on the ground. All nerfs first, and then thoughts? Let's do that. Behemoth Titans, you're up first. Shiver Strike, the melee, has reduced flight speed and distance, reduced knockback against players, and the slow detonation on player impact is now gone. Cryoclasm, aka Omega Slide Mode, had its cooldown removed, but now requires you to sprint for 1.25 seconds before it'll activate when not in your super, so no more insta-sliding around. Howl of the Storm, aka the sliding melee uppercut freeze, reduced angle of initial freezing slash damage cone, reduced crystal creation freezing radius, slowed the sequence of crystal formation to allow victims a better chance to escape, and now spawns a small crystal on walls if performed into walls. Basically, what this means is that it happens slower and at not as wide of an angle. Finally, Glacial Quake reduced heavy slam vertical freeze range against players, and damage resistance was reduced from 50 to 47%. Revenant Hunters, used by 36% of Trials players. One in every three people in Trials is a Revenant Hunter. Not one in every three Hunters. One in every three players. That is what I am assuming this sentence to mean. Just let that one sink in. Sorry if I'm wrong on that one. Withering Blade, aka Little Dinkers, 
reduced slow duration versus players from 2.5 to 1.5 seconds, reduced whisper of durance slow duration extension from 2 seconds to 0.5 seconds against players, reduced damage versus players from 65 to 45 after a bounce, it's 30 damage, projectile speed slowed by 10%, and reduced tracking after bouncing off of a wall. Wow, maybe you'll actually need to use these properly now instead of just YOLO throwing them and letting the game kill people for you. No, you're bitter! Winter's Shroud, aka Dodge Near People to slow them. That's the same thing as Withering Blade nerfs. Slow reduced to 1.5 seconds and Durance reduced to half of a second. Touch of Winter, aka Grenade Buff Aspect, Cold Snap Seeker now spawns a small stasis crystal on detonation, but no longer has increased movement speed or travel distance. Shade Binders, Penumbral Blast, the melee, reduced tracking and proximity detonation size and tracking versus players. Am I saying that right? Am I having a, just taking out of a stroke right now? Reduced tracking and proximity detonation size and tracking versus players. Okay. And reduced freeze radius versus players when impacting the environment from 2.7 meters to 1.5 meters. Ice flare bolts now only chain one time when spawned from a player shatter. And winter's wrath freezing projectile strength now ramps down to zero after two seconds of flight. It did track pretty aggressively. Wow, okay. First off, glad these changes are coming now as opposed to Season 15. Thank you very, very much for bumping these up the list because I think I was going to lose my mind playing PvP. Imagine having to wait like three more months for these changes. Very glad to see these nerfs. Very, very glad, as you might expect. The biggest thing to me with Stasis is still just the fact that it's so rewarding with such little effort. Such little effort. Auto seekers. Slows just killing your accuracy. Being frozen basically means you die. It is just the brain deadedness of it all that drives me up a wall. Hunters just flicking their dinkers and getting free kills around walls. That's not even a euphemism either. Like, that's how serious this is. One stasis grenade tracking and chaining to multiple people. Titans sliding 80 meters to shotgun you in the face, or if they miss, they just freeze you instead. Light subclasses don't have anywhere near these capabilities. You're just so helpless when we're not used to being so helpless. Now combine all of this with special ammo grenade launchers. Shotguns are still nuts. People are sliding all over the place. And just the sheer amount of disrespectful moves that people are able to perform and not only succeed with, but succeed overwhelmingly with. I have never seen such disrespect in the crucible in my life. Moves that I would never imagine even thinking about years ago are the norm. Running around with shotguns like primaries don't exist, spamming GLs around corners with release to detonate, and the expectation, nay, the demand of people talking about the Crucible is now just turn your brain off and don't take it seriously. Oh, oh, just stop caring? Datto, let me tell you, once I was able to turn the vibrant rainbow of purity and joy in my heart into a black hole of despair and grenade launchers, sometimes... I enjoyed the first three minutes of a Crucible match. Well, good for you! I don't want Crucible to just be brain dead mode where I have to go on antidepressants just to not feel anything from being frozen or GL spammed around a corner. Bring on the stasis nerfs. Bring them all on. I'm buying at market price. Keep them coming. Also, I'm totally on board with the whole assessment of abilities in the Crucible. Although, in case you couldn't tell, I do have some issues with special weapons still. I definitely don't mind seeing ability usage come down a little bit, as long as things are preserved in PvE. I want Crucible to get back to guns, and I'm very interested to see what Bungie comes up with there. Also, also, they're looking into light subclasses. 
but I feel like light subclasses don't really need to get stronger overall. Like, I don't want light subclasses as strong as current or any previous variant of stasis. Pre-Beyond Light, things felt pretty good. Again, overall, I'm not saying, you know, every single branch was perfect. Woo! That one felt good. God, that felt good. That's all from me. Ugh. That was a good one. That one felt good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.